The first speaker inscribed on my list is the distinguished representative of the Russian Federation, and I shall now give them the floor. Mr. Chairman, allow me to congratulate you and all the members of the Bureau of the Fourth Committee on your elections, as this year conditions force us to shorten our general statements, our statement is built around the GA's agenda items. The international cooperation in the peaceful uses of outer space, which is item 51. The basis for discussing this issue, that of exploration and use of outer space, is a universally accepted principle, one of the norms of international outer space law, which have been codified in particular in the Outer Space Treaty of 1967. We note the importance of a broad international cooperation on issues of exploration and use of outer space under the central and coordinating role of the United Nations, and this with the full and effective involvement of the Committee on the Use of Outer Space for Peaceful Purposes. We are against the interpretation of international law norms which exclude or put into question the imperative nature of the principles of the first and second articles of the treaty. According to these articles, the use and in, uh, exploration of outer space, including the moon and all celestial bodies, is the province of all humanity. Uh, outer space is open for research and use by all states without discrimination on the basis of equality and in accordance with international law with free access to all areas of celestial bodies. And it is not subject to national appropriation by claim of sovereignty, by means of use or occupation, or by any other means. These principles were reaffirmed in the Declaration of 1970, which was adopted by consensus and dealt with the principles of international law regarding uh, friendly relations and cooperation between states in accordance with the UN Charter. Any attempts to revise or to replace these principles and norms through reinterpretations is unacceptable. We are concerned by trends we see of s certain states to include in their policies approaches that are outside the United Nations Aegeus on issues of uh, using uh, outer space resources. We are guided by the fact that outer space resources, including those on the moon and other celestial bodies, as a inalienable part of outer space fully uh, lie under the principles and norms of the Outer Space Treaty of 1967. We call for multilateral, targeted, and open discussion of this issue within the United Nations and its Committee on the Use of Outer Space for Peaceful Purposes. What is important here is not to allow outer space, including the moon and other celestial bodies, to become an international area of uh, disagreements and conflicts. Artificial forcing and agree of agreements of laws and standards on practices taking place in outer space with the in interest focus on business leads to serious risks. We wish to stress that according to the, uh, the treaty, the activities of uh, non-governmental legal bodies in outer space can only take place in accordance with its norms and with the agreement of the relative states. And it must therefore have internet that state must therefore have international responsibility for those activities. Uh, United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees in the Middle East, item 52. Under the difficult conditions in the Middle East currently, including the exacerbating circumstances of the coronavirus pandemic, Palestinian refugees are more and more dependent on the assistance of international, the international community. Russia places particular importance on the work of UNRWA and highly values the agency's contributions to the in, easing the situation of Palestinian refugees, improving education, health care, and social uh, services for millions of people in Gaza, uh, the West Bank, and other areas. What's important here is to ensure that the agency is not working to deal only with the issues of, of refugees. It, it is one of their main components, of course, but we must ensure that UNWA has appropriate resources to continue its key areas. Especially, we value the fact that 
unlike other international bodies uh, that are focused on humanitarian issues, the agency has continued over many years to be able to be balanced in its approach despite uh, outer influence and uh, on its issues and has been able to avoid politicizing its efforts. Um, Russia, as a permanent member of the UN Security Council and an active participant in the Quartet of International Mediators, is of the view that support for the work of UNRWA is something that will allow for progress to be made in uh, re solving the Middle Eastern issues on hand on a basis of international law. Agenda items 54 and 55, peacekeeping operations and special mi political missions. We consider the activities of peacekeeping operations and the special political missions of the United Nations to be key instruments in supporting international peace and security. We value the efforts of the UN Sec Secretariat to ensure security, the security of the mission personnel during the period of this pandemic, and we note measures that are being taken to continue their effective work in very difficult epidemic uh, in the very difficult s conditions of this epidemic. Despite all the current unprecedented c conditions, it's important that f the further evolution of peacekeeping operations and special political missions continue in the, on the proper path in accordance with decisions taken by member states. Uh, the most important here must be r the respect of the so sovereignty of host states in accordance with the UN Charter. For the Blue Helmets, what is important here is to ensure that they maintain the basic principles of peacekeeping, the agreement of both sides, uh, and a balanced and impartial uh, approach. What's important here is not to forget that the main purpose of the UN missions is to ensure peaceful regulation and solutions to conflicts through political means, as is laid out in the UN Charter. We support the call by the Secretary General for a global ceasefire. This would ensure a, the necessary basis for continued mediation efforts to uh, mitigate conflict, side, conflict situations and allow sides to achieve political solutions and to move forward in processes towards national reconciliation. Despite the temporary difficulties due to the pandemic, it's important to maintain those successes that have already been achieved in, uh, peaceful, in achieving peaceful agreements. What's important here for the success of any field mission is constructive and effective cooperation with the host countries and based on trust. We expect that the it will be necessary and further to improve the tripartite cooperation between the Security Council, uh, contributing countries, and the Secretariat to bolster partnership and cooperation. During the latest session of the Special Committee on Peacekeeping, the C-34, uh, we agreed, it was agreed, that the Secretary General's initiative for, to support uh, peacekeeping, the A4P, must be implemented in accordance with the views and recommendations of member states, which was were voiced, including uh, which were voiced during the high-level meeting in September 2018, the structure of the reports of the C34 is such that uh, they must be carried out in accordance with the main thematic elements of the A4P. Uh, issues linked to information, which is agenda item 56. We note the operative steps that have been taken by the Secretariat to adapt the. the uh, uh, information and co communications activities of the UN, both in its functional facets and also in its substantive facets, as there is this current coronavirus pandemic that needs to be dealt with. We welcome the efforts of the uh, Secretary General, uh, the Under Secretary General for Global Communications, Madam Fleming, in this area. We wish to remind uh, we wish to recall the fact that it is important for the UN, that the UN headquarters limitations that have been put into place must ensure maximum comfort, comfortable conditions for work for those accredited to work at the United Nations, especially for media, as well as there must be a step-by-step -step return to normal functioning. We place great importance on the fight against disinformation during this pandemic. It is being carried out by 
uh, nefarious those with the nefarious attempts by specific countries to find those at fault for the beginning of this pandemic and also to share through mass media threats and about uh, new infections. We have been carefully following the development of the project which is called Verified and we hope that it's, it will be public, publicized all publications within the framework of this campaign will be uh, politically neutral and balanced. Uh, we have noted an increase in a neo-Nazi um, trends in many countries in Europe. Russia has, from the very beginning, and this is under agenda items 57 and 361, been one of the founding members of the Special Committee on Decolonization, the C24, and places extreme importance on the priorities that are laid out in this area of the United Nations activities. Unfortunately, despite the fact that uh, the third decade has ended and the fourth decade is beginning of this work, it is still too early to say that this uh, uh, issue has been has come to an end what's important to note here is that we must move this process to its right, rightful end uh, we still note to date the fact that it, the uh, territories discussed in the special committee including Puerto Rico are have yet to have fully dealt with the question of their status and this mission cannot be considered completed then therefore it remains required and we must continue to work in this area thank you for your attention I thank the distinguished representative of